Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Javen Postal, and today at the grill, we're making some delicious smoky pulled pork nachos using the Weber kettle. And just like always, I'm going to put all the show notes as well as the full recipe in the description box below. So make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this recipe. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, let's get into the cook. So today at The Grill, we're making some delicious barbecue pulled pork nachos. And this is something that people have been asking for uh, for some time now. Uh, you see it in the barbecue forums all the time. You know, what do you do with your leftover pulled pork? And in my house, there isn't really a lot of leftover pulled pork because I have three boys and they just love to eat it. And But when we do have leftover pulled pork, there are two things that I usually make. The first is a breakfast uh, scrambled pulled pork combo. Uh, it goes really good with some pico uh, and some coffee. And the second Second thing is more late night, which is these pulled pork nachos that we're going to build today. So there's only a few things that you're going to actually need for these pulled pork nachos. And that would first of all be uh, some pulled pork. And if you don't know how to make this, I'll put a, a link to a recipe in the description box for you. Uh, we have a red onion, uh, some pepperoncinis, uh, some barbecue rum, some barbecue sauce, some cilantro, cheese, and of course, some nachos. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take my red onion and just slice it in half. And then I'm going to make uh, two incisions here and there. Then we're going to slice it as thin as we can. Move that over back into our dish. Go. And then next I'm going to take my pepperoncinis and I'm going to slice those as well. And we're going to keep all the seeds in there. And uh, these are a little bit messy to slice uh, just because all those juices that are inside the pepperoncini. All right, there we go. Pl place that back into our dish. As you can see, there isn't much to do to prepare uh, these. So let's start to build our nachos. And I'm going to be uh, building these today on my drip and griddle pan. And I did cut out uh, a piece of parchment paper that will fit onto these so that I can just slide them off really easy. And when you're preparing nachos, the best thing to do is to think about it in layers. And we want all of those layers to melt together really nice. Uh, we want that cheese and that pulled pork and the onions and pepperoncinis to really uh, come through with every bite. And so that is the goal. And so we're going to start by placing uh, some of these nachos on the bottom. Okay, so we got that first layer of nachos on. And so now we're gonna start adding our toppings. And I'm gonna begin uh, with some of our cheese. Take a handful of this, and we're gonna scatter that on top. Then we're gonna go with some pulled pork on top of there. Next, I'm going to place on some of these red onions as well as some of those pepperoncinis. Then to that, I'm going to add on a little bit of uh, my Postal Barbecue Original Rub. And this is the same rub that I used uh, when I cooked that pulled pork. And so it's just going to help complement and, and reinforce some of those barbecue flavors that are already in uh, the pork. Next, I'm going to take some of my barbecue sauce. And this is some sauce that I made uh, for the pulled pork. I'm going to place just a little bit of that on here. There we go. And then I'm going to start to build my second layer. We're just going to repeat this process uh, using a little bit less nachos on this second layer. Okay, so let's add on our cheese. And we'll grab some of our pulled pork again and place that on top. Okay. 
Again, we'll throw on some of our red onions as well as our pepperoncinis. We'll get those on there. We'll go back and hit it with a little bit more of that barbecue rub as well as that barbecue sauce. Then lastly, I'm gonna to top it with just a little bit more of our cheese, just to make sure that it all melts together. You know, I don't know about you, but this looks so good to me already. I can't wait for that cheese to melt and really just blend with all of those other flavors in there. Um, so let's go ahead and get it onto our Weber kettle. I did already prepare uh, our coals so that we can just build and then place on. And so how I did that, I placed about three quarters of a basket full of unlit briquettes into my chimney starter and I got them mostly lit. I then dumped them into the Weber kettle. I then closed the lid and let it come up to temperature. And so with our grill already up to temperature, let's go ahead and get these pulled pork nachos onto the grill. All right, there we go. Let's close the lid and we're gonna begin cooking this around 300 degrees until the cheese in the center portion of our nachos is good and melted. Our nachos have now been cooking for about 20 minutes around 325 degrees. That's sort of where uh, the grill seemed to settle in at. Uh, and so let's go ahead and just check on this cheese. Guys, this looks great already. You can see that some of that uh, cheese has firmed up on the outside. And let's go ahead and just peek through the middle here and see what it looks like. All right, so let's close up that lid. And so after about 20 minutes, that cheese isn't fully melted the way that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna give it probably another five more minutes. And in that time, I'm gonna cut up some cilantro uh, to top those nachos with. And then when it's done, I'm gonna pull it off to get ready for the taste test. All right, so after only about 25 minutes total cooking time, these pulled pork nachos are all done. The only thing left to do is to take some of our cilantro and just sprinkle some of that on top. All right, I'm really excited about this because this is one of my favorite late night uh, snacks and I know it's good already. So let's go in for the taste test. Let's pull in some of this one. Oh, look at that piece. We'll dip it into a little bit of fresh pico. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh man, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna grab one more uh, piece right from the top. Cherry picking a little bit, but hey, it's mine, so I can do that. It's gonna be a monster bite. Mm -hmm. As always, these pulled pork nachos live up to their expectation. They're so good. You have that smokiness uh, from that pulled pork and that richness and creaminess from that melted cheese, the onion and pepperoncini coming together really nice with this. And guys, that barbecue flavor is phenomenal. If you've never tried pulled pork nachos this way before, make sure to give it a try because they are absolutely delicious. They're smoky, cheesy, and packed full of flavor. These pulled pork nachos are gonna be a hit for sure. Hey, if you wanna see more barbecue videos just like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. Also, a special thank you to all my Patreons out there who help support this channel. And until next time, keep those coals lit and get cooking. <laughs>